Alright, the second attempt at this recording of Metroid Samus Returns with my buddy Olive Branch. Yay! Alright, so last time last time we started off the Steam session, uh, we were only going for a couple minutes before our, our internet dropped, our connection dropped. Uh, you didn't really miss a whole lot. We should talk Sakamoto a little bit, and that's about it. Yeah. We're just saying he, he he was involved in good stuff. It was just a couple of bad things that were like, okay, let's unfortunately a bit like George Lucas in Star Wars in our collective memory, but we're gonna choose to ignore that because you know it's Metroid's good again. Earlier we All made a joke. Comes down to yeah, you first. You I was first. gonna say you made a joke about um, about Samus. What was the Trump related joke you made? I totally forgot now. <laughs> I flubbed it. <laughs> Uh, the question that I was asking when we get to the statue is how is it that Samus is putting the Metroids into these statues? Is that, like, is she putting in a goop of some kind? Is it a data transfer? What's going be on a, here? It could be a data transfer. I mean, I'm killing these Metroids, right? And there are, they are organic creatures. Yeah. And then I, I, I'm, what am I absorbing, first of all? Is it like... Their Is DNA their strands. Essence? Yeah, I think you're you're getting their goop juice or their their strands of DNA, and you're basically well, like <laughs> feeding them into the slurry machine that, and they their essence will power up the uh, the drain. You know, <laughs> you're basically basically Metroids are glorified drainage pipes. They're like, oh yeah, we're we're we're, do we're using our essence to just reveal more of the land to you. Goop juice is such a <laughs> it's such a what's the word? Vulgar term? It's not vulgar. No, that's not it. It's <sighs> oblique, I guess. That's not correct. It's like, geez, you're the writer. I'm the English teacher. I don't know what you're trying to say, but <laughs> I mean, are you trying to say that it's such a like kind of like non-standard term, a very, very informal term? Just sure, like, something just... like that. It could be anything. It could be anything from their blood to their bones to just their plain old genetics. Like this, like this Chozo statue, he could be anything, and instead he decided to be the guy that takes a bath and the acid forever. Well, you know, you know how crazy them Chocobo are, not Chocobo, <laughs> them, cho <laughs> them Chozo are for uh, hot steam baths. <laughs> Actually, would a missile work? Actually, no, no it's, it's a bomb missile. Nope. It's, got a, it's got a bomb block. It's got to be a... Uh, bombs, right? Now I have in my mind a picture of a Chocobo wearing, like, Chozo tech armor. Or Samus riding a Chocobo. I'm s I'm certain someone's thought of that. And if they haven't, they damn well should start. So we got another item up ahead. And it's a good thing you came this way, otherwise you would have been like, damn it, we have to go all the way around to pick up that block. To this block? Yeah, to pull we tried. through. We tried. This door is one way. Oh, was it? Oh, okay, because I see it. it yeah. It's, I didn't realize it was one way from one direction. I mean, it was a charge yeah, beam door no matter what, wasn't it? I definitely tried to... Ah, uh, you might have been right, actually. Wait, wait, there's an item down even, there, though. What is that? I, I didn't even try to shoot the door, I suppose. Super missile. Uh, we got oh, those. I can do that. Another super missile expansion. I like it. Spend one to save one. Buy one, get one free. That's Forever. That's your tax dollars at work. Uh oh, screw tag. That means that we're gonna have to you get get it later. I think this next zone must have it because this is a shortcut back up. How am I supposed to get down? Uh, with the other door, to the right. That's. I was just there though. Yeah, you were just there. Oh wait, you... was it charged? Uh, you, I forgot you, to shoot it yeah, again. Yeah, you forgot to shoot it again. You just backtracked. Man. I'm sorry. I'm a big old dum-dum. It's okay. I'm a big old... Everyone's a big old dum-dum. Sometimes. Sometimes. Oops. A little overkill. Speaking of dum-dums, I was going to say that today I learned a new fact. What's that? The fact is that, you know, like I was just reading the, his the history of like, you know, like empires and such like that. And I'm thinking to myself, man, some of these empires are dumb as fuck, you know, like, you know, have you ever heard that term? Like, I think it's a Greek term that says everyone is a barbarian to someone else. 
something like that. Yeah, like, you know, the idea being that, like, for example, Brit the British, this is a huge zone, by the way. Much bigger than the, everything yeah, else we've been to. It looks pretty big. This is like the tower right here. It must be the tower, yeah. Anyway. It's definitely bigger than the last area, and the last area was already fairly large. Yeah, this is like the area, the, the, I think the fourth area so far, the orange one was the biggest we've been to, but this one's going to take the cake. Well, it's literally called Area 5. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I was going to say that, you know, I'm reading all these stories about, like, you know, the British Empire basically colonizing, raping, and pillaging entire places because, you know, empire. And... Hmm. And it's like, they, they look with disdain at all these other cultures, and it's like, guys, you know, would it really have killed you to take a policy of, you know, actually being, actually listening to people and not conquering them? But then again, you know, that's humans for you. We're all dum-dums. Well, you see, the alternative would be to uh, find the new world and then not conquer it. Ah, see, but the British didn't really... I mean, they conquered... Yeah, they conquered Canada after they, you know, fought New France. Or rather, they fought France and were like, give us everything you own in New or North America. And they're like, all right. But then it's like India, China, Japan. And it's like, there has been no stone left unturned that the British have not fucked up. And then the Americans were like, hey, you know what? Let's get in on this with the Middle East, you know? <laughs> oh, man. It's just... Well, why not? It's it's land to conquer. It's resources to have to in, to and claim for your own. Yeah, but you know, life is not a civilization game. As much as I love Civ. So, I think we're not supposed to go down... Wait, wait, what? You just... But that was a pit full of, full of goop... Uh, of, of, of purple stuff. And now you can just go under it? Huh. No. Yeah. Like, there's no, 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 to the right, to the right. There's no pit of goop here. Yeah, exactly, but on the right side, there is. Right there. Uh, there's pro it's probably up here. Mm. There it is. Yeah, see I see it? it. I guess this is a bit like playing that uh, Oxygen Not Included, where it's like everything is a little bit hidden behind some walls. And it's like, do not breach this, or else the containment is going to go all over the place. You ever play that game? I have not, but I've seen LPs of it, and it looks pretty funny. I mean, the thing about those kind of games that are like, kind of like semi empire building and semi you use lay, lay things out, it kind of gets me because mm -hmm. it's like I don't really have the patience to learn the best strat for best layouts for that stuff. Not anymore, anyway. I used to play this game that I think is free now. It's called Fast Food Tycoon, but it really is Pizza Tycoon. And right. the best, I mean, you had to lay out your restaurants. That was like one of the most, like, you know you know how Roller Coaster Tycoon is like, oh, here, make, design some rides, you know, have some fun laying out the park, but it was all cutesy and fun. Like, Fast Food Tycoon, you basically made your own pizzas with a bunch of crazy-ass ingredients, but you had to hire mm. staff, and, you know, you could become a criminal and rob banks. It was like, it was kind of all over the place tonally. It was kind of weird. I'm thinking of just like making a okay. video or two of it to show it off later, but it's probably, I think it's free to play now. You know, it's like one of those freedom, freeware, ransom, what do they call it? Vaporware? Uh, I think freeware is freeware fine. Freeware is fine. Vaporware might be another. No, I think vaporware is a term that you use to say like, for example, Half-Life 3. You know, it's been promised for so long, mm -hmm. but it's basically vapor. It doesn't exist, you know? And no, that's not a Steam joke. Um... But I think it's freeware now. Like, you can buy it for free, or you get it for free. Oh, Metroid up ahead. Is it a Zeta? I have no idea. Why are you asking me? Oh, jeez, you're, you're slow. Oh, okay. I guess they're still trying to test you out to be like, don't you wish you had the gravity suit right now? Ugh. God, I feel so gross. Ugh. I feel so gross and grody, stamping on those spawn scum water. Ow. Show me such a super missile next time. Ugh. Ah, you start coming that time. There we go. You got him. No. All right, one of eight immediately. Well, one of seven. 
No, the statue asked for eight. Oh, no, it did. Seven. My bad. Uh, that extra one is the ba we call it the Samus dozen. <laughs> it's one extra, just for, just in case. So wait, what's the purpose of those little blue things? Like, there's got to be a reason why they're going straight up. Oh, that's a weird enemy. I think it might just be a way to introduce me to a new enemy. Mm. Well, these are definitely the swarms that we've seen before, except now they're jellyfish amoeba or something like that. And you can't super jump in water, huh? Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to do space jump. Yeah, I mean, I, it's, not, it's not happening. It's, you know what I meant. <laughs> and... I think then that's just me. This is just clearly obvious pointing to you like, hey, don't you wish you had something to counteract this gravity? Yeah. It's not exactly being subtle about it. Nah. I mean, any Metroid veteran is immediately going to go, oh, an area full of water. Hmm, I wonder what possible power up I could get next. What was the name of the water areas in Super Metroid? Oh, oh I can't remember. God, you're asking like, the wrong person. It's like Meridia or something like that. Meridian? Well, Meridian just means middle division or something like that. That was close. Ooh, there's item. There's an Aeon ability up ahead. That'll be useful. It'll Assuming be the final Aeon ability. Assuming so I can get there. Oh God, moving in water feels so bad. Which is a good okay, thing. I guess for the game design, it's like it's supposed to feel super grody and shitty. It's supposed to be like, oh god, just please, just get me, let me get the item. By the way, I think you're gonna get the Aeon ability, and immediately after you get it, you're gonna get the water suit or the gravity suit. I uh, say that because the the drop blocks drop you straight in, into the water again, and that's pretty clear to me. You're gonna, you know, get the Aeon and a new ability all at once. No, I'm thinking the the. No, Aeon wait, ability. go back over, go back there. Maybe there's a grapple beam or a grapple block. Yeah. All right. To be fair, I did not try. Nope. Nah. It's just a plain old jump. Yeah, no, anyway, let's be, go let's on. Let's be totally sure. Nope. Okay. It didn't turn red. Um. I was gonna say, don't be so certain that uh, what we get next is ha or has anything to do with the water, or that uh, we're gonna get the gravity suit immediately after, because the. Aeon ability may have something to do with the breakable blocks and how we get around them. Mm. Unless it's like, unless the Aeon ability has nothing to do with the blocks at all, it's a totally new item or a totally new use for an item previously. You know, like maybe the speed jump or the the, the what do you call it? The speed booster breaks those blocks because you know you're just running so fast. You're saying the speed booster is the Aeon ability? No, no, I'm saying that the speed booster may be used to use the to break those crystals Possibly. that I've been seeing here and there. Possibly. Oops. Oh, hey, there's the Aeon ability. All right, well, we're going to find out. Gimme. So, what do you think it might be? Like I said, I think it's going to be some sort of either armor or boot upgrade. I was guessing earlier it was going to be an air of effect thing because, I don't know, maybe it's going to be a, it absorbs like a kind of a pulse shield or a pulse damager. What do you think? I'm thinking... I like your earlier theory that it has to do with the boots. So I'm, gonna, I'm thinking that. Let's see. What have we got? Phase Drift. So that sounds like it's just... Like you said earlier with the crystals, it sounds like Phase Drift just goes through things, sounds, goes through material. Um, it sounds like a Sonic power-up from Sonic Adventure. <laughs> it's a slow time for everyone but you. Neat. Okay. Press A again to deactivate. Well, it's fairly simple. Maybe, does this mean that we're replacing the gravity suit with this thing? No, it's... Oh, oh no. instead of a speed booster, that's what you get. Uh, well, you fucked it up. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did. So maybe instead, of a speed, maybe instead of a speed booster to go over those blocks, we have to use the Aeon ability instead. Yep, that would be the plan. To just slow down time. Can you slow down time and still jump normally in water? Nope. Oh, but I could probably... It. Slow down time here? Ah, uh, nope. No. The suction is still very strong. Alright, so I'm intentionally going to go back down and try and get this power-up that I 
so carelessly yeah, missed. There. So maybe you uh, have to use your Aeon, maybe you have to use this, the thing and then jump to grab on, grab onto the edge. Like that, yeah. Beauty. Oh, it's oh. just... Oh, use well, a pulse scan. Oh, maybe it's at the end of the block, like you have to go use the... Yeah, there it is. You have to use your phase drift to bomb that block and get the item. There you go. And I have a way out instead of having to go all the way around the water again. Ah, damn it. No. Oh. Well, I, guess I mean, it takes some getting used to. Yeah, I I was trying to do the thing that you just said. Just I'm not quite used to the timing on it. I would say maybe it slows time by like half the normal speed. Maybe a third. Or sorry, th uh, maybe 75%. Let's face boost that shit. Whoa, okay, that's a lot. That's a. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me how much it slows it down, as long as it slows it down. That's all I really care about. So I guess I wasn't wrong about the whole thing being an air of effect status, but that means that we still don't know what's okay. going to break those. Um, what's going to break those crystals? Because I don't see slowing down time as the answer. That's true. Unless, unless the, that item that remember that one item like when you were, I so rudely interrupted you constantly when we were talking mm. about Zetas and shit. Maybe for that particular puzzle, you have to shoot the door, slow down time, go all the way around before the door closes. I love how you're trying to lead your shots. We got more Aeon, which means time slow, so you don't get fried up by the ball. Oh, that's lazy. That is lazy. Rather than try to actually slow it down or anything, it just decreases the frame rate. Not really. I mean, well, okay, you meant animation-wise. That is, that is exactly what's animation happening. Animation-wise, what animation not really. No, no, I mean, the, speed, the space jump is still going on at normal speed. It's just the, everything, every, the, the world around, the pixels are, are all slow. <laughs> the exact the exact wording that the thing gave me was that it slows down time for everything except for me. Right, but regarding frame, like regarding a stuttering frame or lower frame rate for everyone but Samus. Do it. Let's check it out. Like next time we see an enemy moving around. Well, that's exactly what I was complaining about. The fire shots from yeah. those statues. No extra animation There's... for the super slow movement, right? Yeah, it was just, it wasn't playing at a, the same animation speed, they just have the frame rate, which is lazy. Sakamoto, you're on notice, or the animators for this, rather. I'm guessing you have to do a slowdown time to get over there before he, yeah, before he uh, fries you with the thing. It's a, it's a puzzle. It's a puzzle, Maple Leaf. You have to use the phase drift. I'm trying to shoot him first of all. I don't think it's. I think if the if he was invincible, this this would not be a phase drift puzzle. All right. And go. Why would I want to get over here though? No, no, because because he goes the other way. Ah, this is like a, a puzzle to get around him, I guess. Hmm. Nah. You have lots of room to go, and you have a teleporter here. Yay! This music is from the area that I was talking about earlier. The Meridia, what? I think it's called. The water level. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, that's basically it. It's the water level. Uh, friggin... Oops. Friggin... Uh, I think Metroid Prime might have played the same song. No, no, grapple that, grapple that. Grapple that block. No, no, I think it's from... It's from this side. And then I come down here, and then I pull this one. Oh, then you go back up and grapple the other side. Okay, gotcha. What a clefser, clever tricksy puzzle. And yeah, Metroid Prime did play this song. It was in the pirate strong... No, the pirate ship? There's an item here. When it... When it was... When you found it in the Talon over... This is where we learn how to take care of this thing. Yeah. When, when you find the Talon... Or the pirate ship in the Talon overworld. It's underwater. This is the plasma beam. So I guess it just... 
I guess the door should have been reddish. Whatever. Fire beam time. Only three more upgrades to get. Accumulates and then releases powerful plasma energy. So it's a bit like the wave beam, except stronger. So it's got a green. Yeah, there it is. Green beans. W wave beam. Wave beam has always passed through walls, never enemies. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. You melted him down for scrap. Oh no, these things. I remember these things. Ooh. Maybe now you can shoot through those things now? Yeah, those. It's kind of tough as damage. Uh, yeah, there it is. Oh, there it goes. Uh, there's an item that you passed up in that room with the, the blocks that you had to move around, by the way. Uh, well, I can't go this way anyway, so. That's uh, one way. I like the crackle of energy from you using that. And there's another item way up there that's like. It must be a big one because it's got the green glowy. It must be like the like the gravity suit or, or speed booster or I mean power bomb maybe. What other uh... I would put hmm, I would put my money on the gravity suit because that is, ooh, because that is definitely the theme that this area is going for, I'm assuming. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ah, uh, this is gonna suck. And he eats your Aeon too, what a what an asshole. You got energy. This you got is energy, I think. Yeah, but you're already yeah, full. You're full on up. Damn it! Didn't you learn anything from the '70s oil crisis? You don't hoard energy when you don't need it. Oh uh, no! Oh no! Ah! Slow down. Well, time. this is a bit of a conundrum. I don't have enough ammo for it. Oh, can you shoot him from here? He's right above you. I can hear that I'm doing damage to him. Maybe that's just a plasma beam. Head up, head up there again, see what we see. Oh, he's on the other side. Oh, well. Well, you made it anyway. Yeah, that explains a lot. Oh, shit. Take cover! There you go, you popped him like a zit. Huh. Uh, oh, okay, I was going to be like, that's a that's a weird looking mega giant rock. Give me your life, and especially your Aeon. Your Thank Aeon, you. or your, well, I was going to say or your life, but I take both. This is another elevator. But I want to explore more of this area. Like, yeah, I agree. Look at this. I agree. We've... we've it looks like we've explored maybe half, and there's a second elevator too. Yeah, that's to go the other way, I guess. No, this like that elevator we haven't explored yeah, yet. Yeah, I know. I mean, it goes the other way in the sense of like maybe that tower that you climbed up is only one way, and that elevator opens a door that you couldn't open before or something like a one-way door. Ha! I am enjoying this aspect of Metroid. They put me in a brand Whoa. new area. Wow, damn! What did you kill? I must. A swarm. It's putting me in an area that I have no realistic means of traveling through. Like this is this just this method of travel just you're is. You're getting the grab suit. I can tell. It's unrealistic. Because you, you just got the plasma beam, can, so you can't get the grab suit. No, um, I'm saying that just traveling through the water for an extended period of time, it's just not really something that you should expect your player to just kind of put up with. But it is introducing me into a new environment, and it is incentivizing me to find the gravity suit so that I can stop doing this, basically. <laughs> so I can stop moving around so damn slow. See, mm. I wonder, okay, Capcom had nothing to do with Metroid, right? Of. Uh what kind of question is that? Of course they didn't. Okay, because I was gonna say, oh, you can't get up there yet. What a, what a dick move. Okay, I guess you have to go around. The reason I bring it up is because I see a lot of parallels between Metroid and Mega Man. About the idea of picking up powers and getting slowly stronger. Give me the grab suit. Okay. Let's see, is it the grab suit? No. That's power bomb? It's definitely Touch not. It. The, is is it the grab suit? It's gotta be the grab suit. Touch it. Yeah, it's the grab suit. 
That's a three strong That's power ups weird. in one go, guys. We're advancing fast. Samus is no time. She actually looks actually looks really she looks good. She looks sleek and sexy. Actually, I don't know. I, I don't think I'd describe the power suit as sleek. No, it's bulky compact. as shit. Com yeah, compact maybe. Well, I don't know no, if compact no, tense. It's, dense, it's imposing. Dense is the word. It's dense. Okay. Samus looks Lovely like image. really imposing, by the way. Like she's always looked imposing, but you know, in this game for some reason she looks extra bulky. I think it's because of the the white power lines going through her arms and her legs. Those are a new addition. Mm. Oh, and wow. the spider ball or the the, the morph ball. It looks yeah, pretty. The morph ball looks yeah. It looks really like. There you go. You're moving at super speeds. Yep, exactly what I wanted. And now I am incentivized to explore this area even further. Yeah, congratulations. You're not slowed down and being like, God, I wish I could stop moving so slow. And you're like, holy crap, I can move fast. It's weird, yeah. though, that this area, it it's loading me up as much as possible. I had to pass through here twice. And they're not throwing a boss at me. Well, you have Met... Do you consider Metroid's bosses? I suppose I do. Not in the same vein as most other bosses, though. <laughs> uh, pulse scan to make sure we're not walking into a, a, a bomb trap or whatever. Like that one. Well, that wasn't a bomb trap. Well, there's one of these bosses got to be the uh, the real thing to blow. There it is. Pulse scan. Oh, yeah. Alright, so then... Are you going to yeah. hang and shoot across? There you go. I uh, don't really, don't really have much other option. All right, just pulse, pulse uh, or do that. That works too. I, I, At least I not say, what, I'm not I'm all branch. Phase drift. Yeah, well, you know, Aeon is not exactly a rare thing to come across in this game, which I appreciate. I appreciate that it's not a rare resource. They're kind of just throwing Aeon at me right here, and yeah, we had this discussion earlier where uh, it's a thing that I want to use, and they don't make it one of those uh, overpowered items like in some RPGs where if they give you like a mega elixir where there's only like three of them in the entire game. Uh, it's not one of those things. It's like, I might need it. Why am I not using it? I shouldn't be using it. Yeah, because I might need it later. But Aeon is not that. Yeah, Aeon is just is another it, resource. It, Aeon is another resource, but it's strong, it's very powerful, and I want to use it frequently. Can I? Nope. I was going to suggest this pulse it here. I mean, I know I keep extolling the virtues of the pulse, but that's because I have little patience for exploration when there is such a tool available for me. <laughs> and you just went down <laughs> all the way here. Yeah, I know. I know. That's disappointing. I think you have to use your your, your phase, phase drift. drift. What a stupid name, though. It means phase drift sounds yeah, right? kind of dumb. <laughs> it's, it's exactly what I meant when I said it sounded like something from... A Sonic Adventure game? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's gonna drop you, I can tell. Yeah, they wouldn't have made it that easy. <laughs> it was a trap all along. Alright, so we know what this door needs to open, but I may as well put down one anyway. Just because it's like, hey, remember, this way is a no-go zone. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's an item that you passed up, that sucks. Back, I guess I'll go back. No, you don't guess you're gonna go back, you are gonna go back. Because, like it or not, you've committed yourself to 100%ing this game. <laughs> no excuses when you have the pulse. If I didn't like it, then I wouldn't have done it. Okay, that's a, that's another it. that's another BS argument because you 100%ed uh, uh, other M. Okay, <laughs> don't even tr don't even try. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I guess maybe maybe it. Aeon maybe scan pulse just so we don't uh, you don't accidentally pass it up or something. Scan pulse it. Where are you going? Ah, there it is. There it is. Oh, I guess that was obvious in hindsight because of that little right side uh, alcove there that was not covered up. Oh yeah, that's a clever way of trying to hide something there. Okay, now what? 
There's another elevator that we can take to go up, but this area still has plenty to explore. Unless we just keep charging forward and then take a teleporter later. I think I'm gonna take the elevator this time. Onwards and upwards. 